Through These Doors is presented by Gate City Bank. What can be done today to create a better way of life? We can end hunger, homelessness, and violence. Acts of kindness, compassion, and teamwork bring us together and keep our community safe. Every day at Gate City Bank, we're building a better tomorrow and a better way of life. Twenty years ago, Ralph Engelstead Arena opened its doors. Throughout the years, the Ralph has hosted many events, from concerts to curling, tennis to basketball, and of course, hockey. first 20 years have been extraordinary and we're looking forward to the next 20 in the finest hockey facility in the world with the greatest fans in college hockey. For new members of the UND hockey team, playing in the REA for the first time has exceeded expectations. It was a dream come true. Um, in warm-ups, like the little kids standing on the glass, like just looking at them, I could just remember myself being in that position and now to be on the ice and fulfill a dream, it's pretty awesome. It's honestly hard to explain. There's not really many words that um, can describe it. It obviously was super cool and it's been my dream since I was a little kid but um, yeah just going out there and hearing the fans and hearing the pregame videos that are playing out there from down here in the tunnel is, it was a super cool experience. I've played uh, two games where I've been on the other side of it so uh, definitely definitely more comforting uh, being on the home side um, just when you look up and the stands are absolutely jam-packed and Having everybody cheering, cheering you on and just knowing that you have that support from them, um, it means a lot and uh, definitely have to take it in you know, the first couple times because it's, it's really special. I've never uh, played in the Ralph, so I've, never, I've, I've heard about it, but I've never witnessed it um, like some of the other teammates I have here, I like, have, so um, I've heard a lot of things. I've heard about you know, the, the, the stadium size and uh, fireworks and all that, so it's pretty cool to witness it for the first time. Yeah, the fireworks going off, the crowd cheering, the, uh, the chants they have going on, the, just the overall atmosphere, the buzz, you know, this is a hockey town, hockey community, and the culture they've built here with the, with the fans is truly incredible, for sure. 20 years of playing in the Ralph has left those close to the program with great memories. Yeah, it was, it was really neat. Um, obviously, playing at the program, uh, always had the passion with the fans there, um, even in the old building, which was great. And then uh, to see the excitement over the new building and then to watch it come up, even as a player, uh, was pretty neat just to know what the future held for the program. Um, still remember as a senior when most of the framing got done and we were able to get in. Um, Coach Blaze took our whole team through through the building and kind of showing us everything and um, you know all of us were you know our jobs just kind of dropped as players of going wow like you know 
look look at what uh, look at what they're going to have here in the next couple of years. So um, it was really neat to see, and then to be able to experience it as a coach uh, has just been fantastic. Just on all of them, just coming and. I know me and my younger brother would come and then we'd go home and we'd replay the game in the basement whether it's mini hockey or he put on the pads and we'd play with the tennis ball so it was it just all it was just a dream to go home and play it and act like you were playing in those games. Uh, I, I think it's been huge for our program um, even in the old building um, so I, I had good friends that I played with growing up that played on opposing programs and you know, we'd, we'd always kind of chat after a series and I still remember one of them saying, man, I, I, I hate coming here to play because your fans are all over us right away and, um, you know, I, I think it's, it's a big deal. Not, you know, not every program uh, is, again, um, has our energy of our fans and, and, you know, the number of fans and what we bring there and, and again, being, being able to play in front of close to 12,000 people that are actively in the game is a pretty fun thing and, and I know even for our own players, um, you know, it's the first time they've seen that their freshman year and um, seeing that level of energy, seeing the number of fans as something coming from junior programs that kids typically don't see. So um, even right away for our own guys, it can be, uh, can be a little interesting adjusting. So um, such, a, such a neat thing that uh, we have here at, at North Dakota and at, and at the Ralph and, and again, just brings such a fun element. From then to now, UND Hockey and the REA has promoted the growth of student-athletes to prepare them for the future. My mom's parents live here and my uncle lives here. My other uncle lives in Fargo, so it's just cool to come back, obviously being away for a few years. Um, it's super nice being back here for college for the next four. Yeah, for me, um, choosing to go to North Dakota for my next year um, with COVID, um, it was just kind of an opportunity to develop and play at a top program. Um, the, the track record they have here of, of moving guys on to the next level, the coaching staff here, obviously the, uh, the atmosphere playing in front of a packed house at the Ralph, um, is just something that uh, I'm extremely excited to be a part of and um, so far so good. Um, I wanted obviously every kid, every college wants to play professional hockey, so I mean, that's like a number one thing that everybody wants to do and UND probably out of more than any other college is known for that so I mean that's the exciting part about it is that I'm in a situation to get there but I mean if that doesn't work out I mean you have an education to fall back on so that's the most important thing as well so it's just kind of like a best of both worlds.